Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. You know, I just realized I had done a video and I forgot to upload it. This video is my demonstration. It's a prophetic demonstration using popcorn. The sound of how things start moving very slowly. One crisis pops. Then another crisis pops over there. Then a disaster over here. Then you hear another disaster up north, back east, down south, boop, 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 and they start getting back to back to back. Well, this is what I made this video, and I want you to hear it because the visual was not that good. So I'm just going to allow you to hear it so you get my point. I was just telling my friend about it via email, and I realized I had never uploaded it. But this is what I had done about a week ago talking about things you know how we say boy stuff is jumping off isn't it well the weather anomalies the disasters the different crises the threats of war all kind of things are jumping off right now things are happening in other countries we're hearing about so I want, you know, Mexico, I know you guys already know, Mexico had a horrible earthquake. So all of these things are popping off at the craziest places. My friend had let me know that people had, had moved, I think, from Bermuda to Puerto, to Puerto Rico to find out that there's a, a hurricane heading their way. It's just like, boom, boom, boom. I want you to hear this. This is the way things are going to start popping off. Listen. See how slow it is? That's this is the way it is. The low, the sunshine, everything seeming normal. And it does seem normal. And it seems like, okay, well, everything's died down and settled down. And then you find out there's another crisis. Okay. Now, I'm talking on this because I made the, the video. Start smelling good, appetizing. Everything's normal. You're gonna have a good time, eat some popcorn. Business watch as TV. usual. You hear that? It's begun. A few pop off. A few more. Now it's picking up. Boom. Uh -oh. Over here. Over there. Over there. Whip, 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 whip. Something's popping off, y'all. Uh-oh, it's getting overwhelming. It's just one thing after the other. One thing after the other. That's the way I see the September of Sorrow. But I saw it when I saw it in the Bible, when it said the beginning of sorrows. Well, I believe that's where we are. But let me exhort you. Those of you who are like me, trying their best to draw close to God in spite of our imperfections, we're fighting tooth and nail to keep it holy. We have promises from God. Read Psalms 91. Oh, I don't want to try to think of them right now. But just know that it is going to be well with many of us. There will be a level of safety, protection, and peace. Whereas, and, and here's part of the reason. God has moved some of us. And because we cooperated with his instruction, he has been able to move us to a safer location. Mm -hmm. So if any of you have gotten signals from God to move, move, bust that move. Don't sit around picking your nose trying to figure it out. Get the heck out of Dodge while you still have time. God will make a way where there is no way. Just start start obeying. Okay? Start obeying. Now, I don't know what's going on with the system. 
I really don't. But I felt led and God confirmed it back to back to back to remove my safety net. And even though my income is so low and there is no room for buying food, God promised me I will be fed. He promised me he has not seen the righteous forsaken nor his seed begging bread. He has promised me that in famine I will be satisfied. So I am trusting God by letting go of my food stamps. And I feel like sometimes when we obey in the scariest moments, because that's scary. When God gives you confirmation and God reinforces your faith, that means you're going to be better off without the system's help than you were with it. So I will give you a progress report over time how things are going. But I really believe that I have, you know how some people open the door for the demonic because they are dabbling in stuff they should not? Well, I believe I have opened the door for blessing strictly out of sheer obedience. Not because my faith is all that high, but just because I obeyed. Period. And I believe a lot of you, if you hear God instruct you to do something, if he tells you to quit your job, if he tells you to apply for another job in a whole other city and look for a place to live there too, do it. Don't look at your retirement. Because when all hell breaks loose all over this world, there may not be any retirement for anybody. You may have to start getting ready to trust God now. So that when things really cut loose, you'll already be situated and your faith will be high because you will have been seeing God intervene for you left and right. God bless you. God keep you. God cause his face to shine on you in these troubled times.